Hey guys, welcome back to Kristen DIY. I'm Kristen and today we're going to take this very outdated and kind of ugly hutch um, and we are going to turn it into a coffee bar. Um, those are huge right now. So um, my plan for this piece is to scuff sand. Um, we are going to paint it a greenish color. It's kind of like the side tables that I did recently. I'm going to remove hardware, put brand new hardware on. Um, I have some really cool gold pieces that I got off Amazon. And then we're also going to put in some wallpaper um, on the back of this. I'm also going to attempt to remove this piece up here uh, just because I think it'll give it a more modern look. Um, so um, first things first, we're going to remove hardware, scuff sand, get it cleaned up, and then we will do the rest. Okay, we have the piece scuff sanded, and um, what I did, because I could not get the inside of the drawers with, um, with my sander, so I just went ahead and used a, hand, my, a, a piece of sandpaper and used my hand and went in and got the creases of those. Um, I'm going to leave the inside of the drawers and the inside unpainted, just because I like the, like the way it looks. Um, but now we're going to clean the piece really good. Remember to clean the inside and the out of it. And again, I just use um, three parts water and one part vinegar when I'm cleaning it. Okay, um, we have scuff sanded and cleaned it. Um, I did go ahead and remove the top side. As you can see, I have it upside down and I did forget to film that, but what I did, there was a wood piece inside of here and I unscrewed all the screws and then I took a hammer and just gently knocked this piece out. Um, so I will have to do a little bit of wood fill. There's um, some holes for the screws, so we're going to sand this part down nicely and then I'll fill those with wood fill and then this will be ready to go. Um, I did go ahead and scuff sand the insides of this too because that will be painted. So um, remember with scuff sanding, you wanna get rid of the glossy areas um, so that the paint adheres to the wood. Um, so now we are ready to apply the paint. Well, wood fill, let that dry, and then we'll be ready to apply the paint. Okay, we are ready to fill in the holes with um, plastic wood, um, it's wood filler that I use, it's DAP, um, you can get it at Home Depot, a Sydney hardware store. Um, I use this one um, a lot, because it always works really well, um, and I just wear a glove, and you want to make sure you completely fill in the hole um, while you're doing this, and then let it dry, and then we'll sand it down. Um, this one always works really well because there's no evidence of the holes after I sand it. That's why I like it the best. Okay. Okay. Make sure you push them all the way down, all the way up in there. Get it completely filled. You don't want to see a hole at all. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry, and then we'll go ahead and smooth it out and sand it, and then we'll be ready for the first coat of paint. Okay, as you can see, the um, glue is really dry and is ready to be sanded, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just using um, 120 grit, and that's also what I use to do the scuff sanding, too. I think I forgot to mention that, so okay, I'm just gonna sand this down, make it nice and smooth. Okay, 
can see that, fill in the holes really nice, and it's just perfectly smooth. So we'll clean that again, and then we will get started with the first coat of paint. All right, we are ready to put on our first coat of paint. Um, today I'm going to be using Melange One Paints, um, and I'm going to be using the color Aloe Green. Um, this is the same color I used for the side tables that I just recently did, and I love this color. Um, I think it's beautiful. It's not too bright or too green, but I really like it. So make sure that you stir it up really well. Remember not to shake this because you don't want the air bubbles in there. Give it a good stir, and then we'll get to painting. Okay, um, I have already applied two sheets um, of this contact paper, and so I was going to show you guys exactly what I am doing. Um, so I went ahead and measured inside each one first, and then I cut out a piece a little bit bigger to leave myself some wiggle room. And then I place the paper inside of it, and I take my X-Acto knife, um, and I just go right along the edge after I have it laid out and it's cutting it really nicely. So I just cut right along the edge and um, what I learned on the first two is that I leave the corners um, just to cut with scissors because it works so much better um, than trying to cut it with this knife. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the inside of this and I'm leaving the corners uncut. As you can see, it's cut nice and straight. And then for the corner, we just lay it down and cut just a little bit. And I made a crease with my finger um, to know exactly where to cut too, so that helps. tricky, but I am learning the easy way to do it. Okay, so then I'm just going to lay it in here and see if it should fit nicely. Okay, that is a really good fit. So now you're going to peel back slowly one corner of the contact paper and then um, just do a little bit at a time. And then while you're peeling, just kind of take your hand. Um, some people use, I've people, seen people use um, any like straight edge or credit card even. Um, I just like to use my hands and go really slow and peel it off a little bit at a time. It's 
a little tedious, and I did mess up a couple on the first try. So, just that happens, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. And it is a learning process, so it's much easier in drawers, doing this in drawers. So. Okay. So. down nicely right in the corners. And you want it to be completely flat. Okay, I have it down so I'm just going to keep moving my hands slowly back and make sure there's no air bubbles or anything. And then once it looks good, and if you do get an air bubble, just gently lift up the paper and do it again. Okay, and then just lift this up and then slowly fill the back up as much as you're comfortable with. Next, we are going to apply the hardware on the drawer, and we are getting so close to being done. I'm super excited to see what it looks like. I actually decided to use some other hardware I had bought from Amazon. Um, they're actually left over from another project. Um, I liked it, but it left a little bit of a gap where I couldn't close the drawer all the way, which I didn't like. So I just went ahead and re-drilled the holes that we had already covered up, and I put these gold um, handles on it. So now I think it will close completely all the way. There we go. I like that a lot better. Um, and then I also went ahead and put in some um, of the tag paper in the drawer, just to give it a nice little touch there. Um, the these hardware I had left over from another project. Um, I like the gold and that they looked modern, so I left those. Um, but here's the final piece. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this staged and I'll give you guys a final look of what, um, what it looks like all staged as a coffee bar. Okay, here it is. Um, overall, this piece was super fun. Um, I had, it was a good learning experience. Um, the contact paper was a little tricky, but in the end, I think that it turned out really nice. Um, I think it gave it a nice modern look to it. Um, also, removing the top part really gave it 
a more modern look as well um, instead of that old um, hutch look. So um, please feel free to leave any questions or comments about this piece. Um, thanks guys so much for watching my channel. Remember to hit like and subscribe.